STEM education and ChatGPT. We're gonna merge them both. I'm gonna take a PDF, a document regarding STEM education. It's about a 60 page document. And we're gonna upload it into ChatGPT. And we're gonna have a conversation about what ChatGPT can do for you and STEM education. So let's jump over to ChatGPT quickly and see what we can produce. Here's ChatGPT. And as you can see, we have the sidebar, which is here. I also like to call it the dashboard on the left side. And then we have ChatGPT. Now this is ChatGPT 4.0. So all we have to do is grab an article and we're going to jump right in and upload that article. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that article. So let me show you the article first. Here's the article that I was talking about. STEM starts early. Now I am an advocate of starting STEM education, science, technology, and engineering and mathematics fully integrated starting in kindergarten. And that's because I like students to have access to the real world, the physical world, the life science around the world, and understanding how we can make it a better place. And when we do this for children, they form an efficacy or a self-efficacy and a collective efficacy around STEM. Now, this is a PDF. It gives you a lot of information. You can see that it talks about the child at the center, what research tells us about children in STEM, the microsystem, teachers and parents as the gateway to STEM, and so on. Now, I have many PDFs and articles on STEM. I mean, California's educator uh, STEM from that perspective, STEM 2026 from the Department of Education, and lots of other articles that I did my research on. But this one is actually a fairly new one, and it was developed in 2017, and this PDF was created by the Joan Gantz Cooney Center at Sesame Workshop New America. And this is what we're going to do, and I actually like how colorful this is, and it gives us the microsystem, the mesosystem, the um, exosystem, and the macrosystem of STEM. And then STEM in early child, um, childhood and an analysis of the National Science Foundation Grant Awards. And, you know, yes, it's about it's actually 68 pages and we can read it and you should read it. I fully recommend that you read it. And by the way, if you didn't know it and you drive in, um, 30 minutes to an hour a day, there is an app that you can upload this and listen to it. You know, fun reading on your drive anyway. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to go into ChatGPT and we're gonna grab this article and see what happens when we throw this into ChatGPT. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna upload it here and we're gonna go into ChatGPT 4.0 because if you didn't notice, well, we'll just show you the little paper clip here. Let's uh, close that. 3.5 doesn't have that. So if you get the free version, not happening. But if you happen to pay the $20 a month or even in Gemini, you can do it that way as well. You can upload this document. So we're going to upload this document. I'm going to go to my drive, upload the document, give it a moment, and then I'm gonna give it a prompt. So let's say you have some professional development and you wanna give some research to your teachers, you're a principal at a STEM school, maybe you're not even at a STEM school and you want to start integrating this concept into your elementary, middle, or high school. And the reason why my belief is that you should is because when we give students content and we can make reading and mathematics real and related to something, they're more likely to put it into their long-term memory. Now, of course, we can dive into what that really looks like. That's maybe hours of PD, but this can give you an outline of what to talk about with your teachers. So let's give it a prompt. Let's ask it to read the STEM PDF. Give me a quick outline that will allow a group of teachers to read the outline, read the PDF, and create mini presentations to share in a group. This is a full day training. Let's just go for it. So it's, you can, as you can see, it's thinking about it and it's saying based on the outline details provided in the PDF on STEM education and early childhood, here is a structured plan for a full day training for a group of teachers. Now I'm gonna say, did you read the PDF? I'm gonna let it do it. So what I like is that um, it's saying open session introductory to early 
childhood STEM education, understanding the basics of early childhood, child at the center, adapting STEM education, engaging parents in communities in early STEM learning, policies and practice, lunch. Ooh. So, you know, while that's thinking, I'm kind of curious, is that like the outline? So I'm, I'm, what I wanted to do is read this. So let's go back and let's make it think just a little bit more. I'm gonna have to go here and say, did you read the PDF? I feel like you didn't integrate. the micro and macro systems. Oh my. So it's going back and addressing that. It's upgraded a little bit because normally it'll show you like a dial that it's thinking and processing. So I'm I'm going to upload it again because this time I feel like read this. I wanted to do that. I have a friend here. So this is what it's doing. It's okay. So now it read it. First of all, ChatGPT isn't perfect but it's quickly outlining something. It's not my life's work, but at least it's giving me this. Now, should you read this? Absolutely. Should you underline it and do all the things to the PDF that we normally do, underline it? I recommend red pen. It's a memory color. Circle and maybe break it into parts like you do this one, you do this this part, this section, because um, that's really what I was looking for. And if I go to the first one, Let's see, many presentations, small group teacher prepare many lessons on adapting STEM activities for different. So um, I am looking for many presentations based on the PDF. Break up the PDF for teachers to read in groups. Now I get that, I'm, what it gave me was brilliant. I loved it, but that's not what I wanted it to do. So this is, first of all, ChatGPT is not perfect. So don't, you know, people think, oh, I can make it do this and turn it in. No, you need to read what it's asking. So this is what I'm asking it to do. Executive summary, talk up pages 14 through 13, the child at the center. This is what I wanted it to do. This is how I know I read it. I'm not saying the other is a great idea, but after this, and this is something you can do with a lot of articles. You want to introduce research into your professional development as teachers. You can do this. It doesn't have to be on STEM. I believe that you should champion using STEM education because fully integrating these concepts is real world. It's today. It's things that we're doing now. And if you're integrating the next generation science standards, this is a way to do it. So this is something that I fully agree with and you could have so much fun um, doing this. So it's my hope that you'll do this. And then what I'd like you to do, here's the challenge. I'd like you to go to say Google Scholar or you know maybe you're um, a member of the National Association of Elementary Schools um, Principals or maybe you're the uh, member of the National Science Teachers Association and pull down one of those articles for the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, pull down one of those articles and upload it. But let's just go here. Let's go here and put STEM education starting early in elementary. So that was the one I just grabbed. So prerequisites for elementary school teachers before practicing STEM education. Let's click on this. Let me see if I actually have to pay for this. That always stresses me out. Like full article. If I have to pay for it, we'll go back. I don't want to pay for anything. And while it's thinking, ooh, what? What? I didn't have to pay for it. So what you can do is you can grab this PDF, because of course it's thinking. So here's a, a PDF prerequisite uh, for elementary school teachers before practicing STEM. So this could be something that you just want to download. You want to save it and you save it in your folder. And I'm just going to say STEM prereq. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back because this might be just something I want to read on my own. I just want, want to get a quick outline, um, tackling integrating STEM education 
Um, okay, okay. Let me download this. What does it say? I want to see the name of this article. Tackling STEM education. So I want to save this article with the name and I know, let's see if it'll save it. Okay, great. STEM education in early elementary. Um, uh, of course, I want to see what year it is because I don't want it to be 2020. That's a good year. Let's go and go to a new chat. I'm going to challenge you to find an article, grab your article, upload it and say, give me a quick outline so I can preview this article. Consider each section. Now I haven't even read the article. I haven't looked at the article. I didn't even know the article was there, but this is what's happening. So it's giving me an introduction. Um, of course, I uh, I want to copy this and put it somewhere else, but it's giving me an introduction. Let's go. Let's just take a moment and look at the article again. So here's that introduction. And it's only 14 pages. So this is a quick read. Pre-service teacher education, collaboration in STEM. It, okay. Pre-service teacher, integration STEM, collaboration, elementary educational profes pro professors. Um, and then it's giving you some um, an outline here of pre-service elementary and professors, um, week of instruction, major events. It's just going, it's just an article. And then you can decide, is this something you want to present? It gives you a full outline. Discuss the values of collaboration in education to advance STEM teaching and learning. This is an article I want to read just knowing that. This is what it did for me. And this is something that... We become more intelligent by allowing ChatGPT to do some of the thinking for us. But yes, it's an outline. It quickly gave me an overview. Yes, I'm definitely going to go read this. Explores pre-service teacher education, focusing on practical and theoretical aspects and the significance of content knowledge. Now, let's just, for fun, let's go to the next generation science standards. I know I've done this before, but I would like you as an educator to search I should pause and let you think about the next generation science standards. I would like you to go and we're just going to, I usually go to kinder, but let's go to a high school. Um, let's submit high school and we'll go to matter and interactions. This is what happens. You can look at this here. And if I wanted to, I could, for fun, of course, it's fun for me. I can grab this. I'm taking a picture of it. And I can, because I know I can also, let's just do a new chat. I can go to, this will be on my desktop. So I'll grab it, add it. And that, I want you to see this. If you're a science teacher, this is the performance expectation. Look at this. Use the periodic table as a model to predict the relative properties of elements based on the patterns of electrons in the outermost energy level of atoms. Ooh, sounds like fun. Um, and it tells you there's so much going on here and it can overwhelm people. E even clicking on it, it wants to go to a whole new place. It gives you the progression. Now, I, I don't want to buy that book, but hey, why not, right? That's not what I want, but it's giving you some resources. But this picture, science and engineering practices, develop and use models, tells you what it is, disciplinary core ideas, physical science, the structure and, and properties of matter, and then patterns. We're looking for patterns. But then it tells you the connection of the DCIs for high school. It's, it's life science. It's this is for um, mathematics. It's telling you the math. No, this is actually the connection of physical science. And then it's giving you um, the ELA literacy. It's not giving me any mathematical practices, but I could argue it because we're talking about electrons and there's math involved there. Anyway, but it's telling you what you need to do to integrate the the ELA and the writing piece or the reading piece. But I want you to pause for a second. Even if you're a great science teacher. We need to create a phenomenon so that students understand this and put it into their long-term memory. I it's my opinion that NGSS should have put this here first, this. Now, if I were to download this, I don't really want it here, but I'm gonna put it there. This is the same thing up here, but it doesn't give me some connections to the life science and physical science. It gives me the observable features of the student performance by the end of the lesson. It says course, but the lesson. And so components of the model, 
it's the relationships, the connection. So what I would want to do now is now I want to go and grab this. Let me just go to STEM. It's somewhere. We're going to add this and we're going to say, I am a chemistry teacher in high school. Give me a creative way to teach this performance expectation. See what happens. See what happens. Um, you probably could upload the periodic table, but I'm going to go with ChatGPT. Probably knows what to do with this. Um, so it, it gives you an overview. It tells you the physical science piece, interactive periodic table puzzle, starting with a giant blank periodic table on the classroom floor. Um, I would argue, give me a visual. Give me the scope of the direct instruction first. Assume this is new for students. Because these are games, great. But I needed to know, I, I, and I wanted to finish, but um, somewhat, I kind of don't. I almost wanted to stop it. Assume this is new for students. I need a full lesson plan before activities. Once there is understanding, then we can integrate activity, problem, project, based learning, okay? Because that's way too much, we're gonna stop that. This is what we want it to do. So I, what I'm trying to get you to see is you can practice uploading things and saying, read this, give me a scope. What do you think about this article? If I won't give you its opinion, but just at least give me an article, give me an outline so I can decide if I want to read maybe said 300 page document. Um, so students will understand how to use the periodic table. It gives you this and you probably already knew this, but it, I like that it gives you a lesson. You could even say, um, give me a script. But of course, it's, it's going to take some time because it's in 4.0. 3.5 probably would have been faster, except it doesn't take uploads. So you have to, so electron configuration, you, uh, and I assume that it might be the SCPF configuration. You can go look that up if you want, because uh, it's high school, because usually middle school, they will talk about um, electron configuration from a, a, an easier perspective and not the, the orbitals from that perspective. So we'll just see periodic trends, things like that. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I do recommend videos because sometimes it it's so abstract, the periodic table and electrons and just the elements themselves can be very abstract for students. And, um, but the, the more they get introduced to it, the easier it gets. So, um, but you know, you get the idea, play with it, throw some articles or even NGSS standards in there and um, have a little fun with it. It's still closing it out. Isn't that amazing? If I had to give you an assignment, it would go grab one of your articles from one of your professional journals, take it. If you're a teacher, upload it, give you an outline, and maybe it's a strategy. Maybe it can help you outline that strategy and ask it to ex at least give you an outline of the article to see if you want to read it, and then ask it to help you teach it. Or if it's professional development for your school site as a principal, give me a creative way to provide this professional development based on this article for my staff in this amount of time. So have fun. That's your homework. Tell me if you've done it, upload it, and tell me how you're doing. Make sure you subscribe and comment and like. Thank you so much for listening to my YouTube channel. Come back often and enjoy the rest of your day.